Awful beasts. This is the third time I've tried to record this. Yes. Because I made a little mistake, a little snafu. But we're gonna play XCOM, the new XCOM game, the expansion, Enemy Within. XCOM Enemy Within, but we're gonna play, make, play it as a drinking game. Okay, so. Um, I've got a couple of rules here, but instead of discussing them to you and boring you, we're gonna play the game, and whenever I drink, you know, I'll tell you then when I have to drink. So, let's just start the game, okay? This is the first time I'm using the little. This is gonna be here on the side, you probably see that, so. I had a little bit to drink already, so this is gonna be great! And I have some strong beer here that I already started drinking because, and I had a cool thing where I poured in the beer, but whatever. The beer that I'm drinking now is the Triumphator, Lerwenborg Triumphator, because we will be triumphant. Yes! Anyway, normal. We're gonna do it normal setting. We're not gonna do easy because now we're not pussies. We're not gonna go classic or even impossible because we're not insane and, and masochistic. I tried to play in classic, I failed. I played the game through in normal, but one of the advanced options I'm gonna do is that we're gonna play it Iron Man style. Enable tutorial. And, uh. Should I leave in the, the beginner's talk because it's kind of lulzy at times? Yeah, because then I have more chance of drinking. That's a good idea. Okay, we're not gonna have the tutorial because fuck that shit. We're not gonna have the meld tutorial. I'll tell you what the meld is. Um, just, we're gonna have a little, couple of these are extra rules that change, like damage roulette. It means like the, these are the things that are in the game. So, uh, uh, we could do training roulette. That would be kind of interesting. Ah, fuck that. I don't need training with that. But we have Red Fog. And Iron Man means I have only one save. So I cannot, if I want to even, reload. It's one save, one go. But it's gonna be normal. Oh yeah, it's gonna be normal. So. Let's start this game. Again. For Death Mode of Doom. Okay, let's start this game. No, no tutorial experience. Why does the game ask me? I turn off the tutorial and the game asks me, do you want to have the tutorial experience? Anyway. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. Who is this guy? Lag, lag, lag. Now you got lag. Great. Didn't have lag before, but oh, lag is gone. Shouldn't be lag because my computer is a beast. Awesome. Anyway, let's go in closer and, and see what the thing is that just dropped out of the sky, like from a Michael Bay movie. Oh, surprise! It's, it's all wants to kill us. Yay! How surprising. I'm getting my morning workout routine, yeah. That explosion is all part of it. I guess we can count every time I see a cutscene. Right, cutscene, because we got tons of those. And that's it. The rule cutscene. That's it. Vilio, Vilio, good Vilio. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up, dude? You got shitty lighting. You got shitty lighting and I incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Yeah, America! Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Yeah, 
Good luck, Commander. Yeah. Excuse yeah, um, Enemy with it. Is it the same mysterious government guy like in Avengers? Seriously? That would make actually sense. So am I Nick Fury? Is this shield? I guess. Well, we cannot even name our bases, so it doesn't matter. So where should I go? Asia. There's different bonuses you can get in the different things, but we're gonna go Europe. My first let's play I did in America, so aircraft was cheaper. With Europe, laboratories and workshop cost 50% less to build and maintain. We could go in Africa, where we get 30% more monies. But we'll just go in Europe, because research is important. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. You Soviet Russia. Broadcast indicating alien activity with Novo a major metropolitan area. Grod. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, I cannot rename my soldiers just yet, but I will rename them in true internet fashion after my friends and fellow gamers. I need Strike one. This is okay. central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Well, just talking to me doesn't count as a cutscene, so... Okay, this is a turn-based... Uh, oh, we have a... A Deutsches Mädel, okay? And we have... Let me zoom here. Henry. What is that? I don't even see, I don't I can see the flag. Heading to that location. We got a Belgian boy. Belgian? You got good chocolate, dude. Will okay. do. Sadly, they don't have all the nations, of course. They're missing quite a few. A lot of Eastern European nations, hmm? Praxis, hmm? Missing again Hungary, hmm? They don't even have Ita Italy. And again, I guess this was only countries who would pay the x -Camp project. Okay. Um, now, let's see if we get any deaths, so... Fatal, like, like, f f uh, fatal hits, flanking hits, and when my guys miss, that's all sick. Fatal hit size a drink, it's like a chug or a shot. I got Wodka Gorbachev for the shots, so. Oh yeah, and, ooh, I'm playing the expansion, so we got Meld. He is little nanites. You can then put it into other stuff, like, expand or your people. You can make them cyborgs or biome dudes. You'll see that. Lots of spoilers I will spill. Mm, okay, we're gonna get the meld stuff. It's right there. So we're gonna move in that direction. Okay. Because after a while it will self-destruct. Yeah, great. I'll have to risk it. And... Uh, Let's okay. do this. Yay, let's do this. Heading there now. It's gonna be interesting because it will this game will determine who's gonna be who, kind of, so. Stepping off. Oh, I wanted to drink, but. I think we're alone out here. Okay. We gotta get it now because we won't get it. Got the goods. Yep, we got the mail. There's gonna be cutscene about this so you know exactly what this because that this game holds you by the hand. Which is not bad because they're trying to get new players, so that's not a bad thing. Not just the old Grognars that grew up with the old game. Like a me. Okay, so... I'm sure this alien's gonna pop out any time now. Um, we're gonna go here. Yeah, kicking in the door. And we can customize the look too, so I can make an approximate... It's, not the best customization I've seen in the game, not really that great, but it's something, you know. It's better than the old XCOM games. I was kind of like, you know, you just got a generic look, but here... Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Oh, that was a hit. 
Eyes on target. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for yeah, our it's, own development. Yes, Dr. Valen. Guess what nationality she is. If you haven't guessed it from the horrible, cheesy accent. Okay. Um. Solid copy. Now, did the first shot from the chick actually kill the guy, so... That doesn't count as a drink, so I can't do anything a drink, so... Moving out. Yeah, that, that classic difficulty humbled me, that's for sure. Okay. okay. But it's not impossible either, it's just really, really hard. And after a while, if you didn't develop the right weapons and gear, Moving. you're basically fucked. Okay, alien activity, no shit. I don't think we're alone out here. No shit. Aren't you a smarty pants? I love when the aliens are revealed they have like like they can move. That's such bullshit. As I used to say, the biggest bullshit in bullshit history. On the move. I'm probably gonna edit this anyway, so lots of what I'm saying now you will never hear. But who knows? I might not edit it because because reasons. Affirmative. Yeah, break through the window. Destroy property. They're starting to lose ground. Already? I'll hit him. No, oh, he actually didn't miss. Well, it was a 79% of hit, so pretty good. But I've seen people miss at a over 90%. Especially against rockets. Target oh yeah, there we go, not a rule. When... When... Rocket, because rocket misses, really. Misses, which is not even gonna pop up now, because it, they need to first level up in class. Moving. Try to get that melt. Location confirmed. Please don't self-destruct yet. Of course. I'm under fire. Oh, when the aliens miss. Now that's a thunder reason to drink. We're gonna put him here. So I have only one round to get there. Might be too late anyway. But I could go there. Confirmed. Yep. Swedish chick. And missed. That thing's gonna blow. Incoming fire. No, please don't blow. Wait. Yes! I lost the mouth. At least I got one. Okay, who should I shoot? 84%. Now if this is this, 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 I'm gonna drink. Down. Of course it didn't miss. This, now it's like much easier than like this freaking... I see 40% now. That is a big chance of missing. 60% of missing. No, and I still didn't miss. This game doesn't want me to drink. Okay. Then again, this is the first mission, so it's easy as pie. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, here we go. Matthias Gerard. 35%. Now that's gotta miss. No! Taken care of. First mission went out with a hitch. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. Our, uh, we can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. No shit. 
because that's part of the gameplay, isn't it, pal? Yeah, that doesn't sound, that doesn't count as a cutscene, that's like... Ah, okay, a little, a little mini, mini cutscene. Barely a soup. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Oh, cutscene. Right. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Two of the sips. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. Cool, you get to it. cool story, bro. Cool story. Whoa! I'm flying away from my base. Inside the mountain that's built in. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. I should have turned down the rookie thing, but it's too late now. It's too late. So basically, your characters, uh, your, the different soldiers can level up and they gain ranks. Uh, they start out as rookies, which is like, you know, they should just put the they suck, and it depends on how many kills commander they do. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. And they, uh, commander to the, re and it's two commanders. Another promotion. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Demolitions experts. Okay, yeah, so I won't even remember the names because I'm gonna rename them all. Yeah. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order to the research lab. Mm. Okay, let's do this so they don't annoy me with this. And our cutscene. Hello, Commander. Hello, Farland. My name is Dr. Farland. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Uh -huh. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. By all means, research something. Do your research project. What? Um, Still weapon fragments because reasons. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. Well, this... we'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Okay. Uh, engineering. Not a cutscene. Uh, commander. Two, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Mm -hmm. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Great job, my friend. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Mm, okay, we don't have too much to build yet, but we're gonna level up and do some shit. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna buy a fucking satellite. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. I want one will be enough for now. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I'm gonna do one of those. Commander to mission control. Commander to this. Commander. That's already two commanders. I got a drink now. I'm going to go to the barracks now. And, um. Wait, let me see here. Yeah, I'm going to go to the barracks. I'm going to stop the recording here, but don't worry. For you, it's, it's not even going to be passing time. You're going to see a little thing, and boom. Because I'm going to rename all the soldiers. And maybe hire some more. One, two, 